the people of Palestine and ask yourself, what have I done to raise this issue to the minds and the consciousness of the world? Look at the people of Palestine and ask yourself whether you are ready to make the same commitment that you did 30 and 50 years ago to make the people of this country free. Look upon the people of Palestine and say to yourself, when you stand up to rise up against injustice, so will we. When you stand up to fight for your dignity, so will we. When you stand up to protect your mothers and your women and your children, so will we. When you stand up to mourn for those who have died unnecessarily, so will we. When you stand up to point to the world and say, you cannot close your eyes to these atrocities, so will we. When you stand up to say, Palestine will be free, so will we. And we will make it hard, not just in South Africa, but across the world. And when Palestine is free, so will we. Thank you, God, bring us to that day. God, help us to that day. God, make you strong to make that day happen in the land of the Palestinians so that it may be secured in the land of South Africa. Thank you, God, bless you all. Palestine is not a Muslim. Palestine is not a Jew. Palestine is not a Christian. Palestine is not a Hindu. Palestine is a human being. And therefore, in the name Bismil Insaniya, in the name of humanity, humanity that we called for, we asked for our humanity in South Africa. We told the world, please support us. We said that this government or the apartheid government needed to be ungovernable so that we can enjoy our freedom. The imbalances that existed during the days of apartheid are the same imbalances that we see during the days of Zionism. Balances sometimes of international world politics is, you could have a person in South Africa, even in a new democracy, going to jail for a few pennies that assumed and alleged have been stolen. But you can have a man like Dr. Vota Basan, the engineer of chemical war in South Africa, walk a bloody free man in South Africa. There's something wrong with our democracy. A man that engineered the worst chemical war against our people in South Africa, and most probably shared the expertise with the Zionists also. He walks a free man in South Africa. To the Palestinian people we say, freedom is near. Freedom is now. Freedom will be there. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. And when Palestine is free, it will be a free place for Jews and Christians and Muslims. And the freedom will be maintained so that Zionism will never have a space on the land of the freedom of the people, the democracy of the people, and the restoration of the rights of the Palestinian people. Thank you very much. God bless us. I'm very angry that we have refused to touch that uh, Israeli ship. We have a message to them. The first message is that this is in South Africa and this is not your apartheid Israeli government. They are now saying they, as the Zionists, are going to be discriminating against the COSADU members. They say they will not employ them because COSATU have chosen the side of the oppressed in that uh, conflict. We say to them, you are now playing with fire. The rights that are in that constitution, the rights that are in that constitution are rights that we fought for. We did not get them from a silver platter, certainly not from you, bloody racists. We sacrificed, including our own lives, for that constitution not to be discriminated again. You, who are the minority of the minorities, because the overwhelming majority 
of South Africans are not racist. They hate and distaste what is happening in Israel. In Israel. They are not confused about who is the aggressor and who is the oppressor and who are the oppressed people. They know that there was a war in 1967 which dispossessed the land of the people of Palestine. We will chase you out of our democratic country if you come here with your madness. Free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Thank you very much. Viva Kosato! Viva!